Hi, everybody. It's Mike Pingle once again with Collector's Haven. Today we have Tony. Oh, Tony, of course, you've told me your last name three times, and I'm not going to butcher it. Tony, what's your last name? Vaselino. Vaselino. Tony Vaselino is a collector of Star Wars. Okay, I'm a secret Star Wars collector myself. I only collect, like, really fun, fun, silly stuff. I don't know. Same here. <laughs> stuff, stuff that I love. But you love... Now, what is your collection about, Tony? I mean, do you focus on one thing? Because Star Wars is such a huge collectible world. No, everything and anything. Wow. So, <laughs> how do you do that? Because Star Wars, is, since 1977, has been producing toys, except I think there's a, a couple years there that they weren't producing a lot, but they produce all the time. Yeah. So they're, they're, they're always making something. So do you just go to the store and go, okay, I want this, I want that, I want that, or do you just go, I want all of it? I want all of it. <laughs> <laughs> but, How does the budget I, work on that? <laughs> but I have like, you know, I have family, they're always looking, if they see something like, uh, like a flea market or a tag sale, they're always letting me know. How many, how, how many items do you think you have in your collection or do you actually know? Oh man, <laughs> probably like maybe altogether, maybe like 6,000 pieces. Wow, and where, where do you have all those 6,000 pieces? Are they all displayed? Yeah, they're, they're pretty, yeah, pretty much everything. Um, I have a section of the basement that is just dedicated for Star Wars. And the other half of the basement is for the kids. So well, I, I, I would think I think the whole place would be for the kids, right? Do, yeah, pretty much. Are they able to touch anything, or do they know it's hands off? Nope, hands off. Hands off. Actually, I have a sign I'll have to show you because. Uh, oh yeah, I do. I don't like people touching my Star Wars collection, so here it is. That is fantastic. <laughs> did you have that made, or did you? Was that? I, I saw it online and I printed it and put it on there. I like it. I like it. Keep those kids away from those collectibles. I mean, I don't know how you could. I mean, I'm looking <laughs> around behind you and there's a BB-8 and R2-D2 that roll around and and uh, there's all those lifesavers and I... That, yeah, the adults too. Right? Do you find the yeah. adults are more excited than the kids are? Oh yeah, especially my brother because he's a He's a fan, but he doesn't really collect or anything like that. But he's a fan since it came out. So, with Star Wars, when uh, did you start in 1977, or when did you become a huge fan of Star Wars? Um, well, I was born in 75, so I was only two when it came out. But once I hit, like, maybe seven, eight years old, I started getting into it. And, you know, my family started getting me, uh, you know, Christmas presents and birthday presents, all Star Wars. <laughs> wow. So did you watch it in theater or were, was that VHS? I know I was, I was about eight and 77. So I actually saw it in the theaters. Um, so I, I think, yeah, I think they were all in the theater. Oh yeah. Because they used to rotate stuff a lot during that time. I remember, you know, every year there would be a Saturday night fever or, you know, or, or Grease and Jaws. He kept rotating stuff out. So I guess. Yeah. Yeah. That's fun. So what was, um, what, what is the first thing you collected as a kid? Um, well, the first thing was the, the original vintage uh, action figures. And some of the, uh, and some of the ships also, but those got lost. And so I have most of my figures though. Oh, most of the figures you had as, your, as a kid? Yeah. My mother saved those for me. She put them away for me and she saved them. She's a good mother because most mothers just put them in the yard sale. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's what happened with most. I think that's what happened to my stuff too. Um, yeah. So, when did you really start collecting Star Wars? Um, I really, really got into it when uh, The Force Awakens came out. Okay. So, like before that, I was buying, you know. One, one or a few things, not much. But then once the, the movie started coming out, I really got into it again. And yeah, it blew up from there. <laughs> wow. So now, 
are you doing a lot of eBay buying for vintage stuff or um, are um, you, go ahead. I'm sorry, um, yeah, well, most of the stuff I'm collecting right now is uh, Black Series, the six inch Black Series. Th those are most of what I have my collection right now. But like I said, I see anything Star Wars that I like, I try to get it. <laughs> Fantastic. Well, can we start looking around at, at some of the stuff you have? Yeah. Yep. Let's do it. Let's, let's, I, I'm excited. All right. Um, so right here, uh, I don't know if you can see it okay. Right here is mostly like all my, uh, these are like, some of these are models that I built and I, uh, you know, I weathered them to make them look like almost as much as, uh, you know, film accurate as they can be. And, uh, wow. Well, how many, how many have you done? Uh, let's see. There's one, two, three, four. I think there's probably like 10 of them I've done. Wow. Um, yeah. The, the millennium Falcons right here. I hope I'm aiming this the right way. Uh, <laughs> those are models that I built. Um, the snow speeders and the X-Wings, I built those. Uh, the TIE Fighters in the bottom here. And the at, -AT Walkers. Excellent. Yeah, I have, uh, I have this set up with like LED lights just to give it like a better effect. I think the bottom one's not working right. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> wow. I, try, I, always try to, I always try to make it, you know, the presentation look really nice absolutely yeah now these are all the little ones that you put together um well these ones right here are models the really small ones those are uh some of them are hot wheel and some of them are black series oh yes i know the black series so black series are kind of like little metal things aren't they the little yeah. metal yeah, yeah, those are very cool. And they come in different sizes, don't they? Larger ones and smaller ones? They're, they're, they're all about that size right there. Those are fantastic. And what's up yeah. at the top of that shelf up there? Um, okay, right here is uh, the Helicron, the Sith one. And I bought that on, uh, on Etsy. So somebody 3D prints these and they light up. I'm aiming that the right way. That is amazing. Yeah, yep. And there's a Jedi one right here also. So that lights up too. And that's someone who actually made an Etsy one. It's a, it's, a, it's a homemade one that they do. Yep, yep. They produce them and sell them on Etsy. That's amazing. They should actually make those. I don't know why Star Wars is not making those. <laughs> I, I know. I was looking for them all over the place and I finally found them. So, like, then other things, my sister got me this Pez collection here. Um, I love those. Lunchbox. <laughs> and I, I even save like, you know, like birthday cards or Father's Day cards that my kids get me. Uh, I think it lights up still. Yeah, it actually plays music. Yeah, well, those, those are collectible too, and they do some amazing, yeah. the amazing stuff out there with those. Yeah. So, what's on the second shelf up there? Uh, those look like speeders and. Um, oh, right here. Shelf. Yeah, these are, these are, they're models, but they're really like easy models put together. Um, and they light up also. Like in the back here. And yeah, here's here's a. I think that one's called a Y wing. Yeah, that's fantastic. And are on the first shelf of that unit? Are those um, those are actual? These these going? are uh, yeah th th these are the, the toys. Um, you know th they're not really expensive. Uh, but I I don't really go for the the you know the real expensive items. I just like I said, whatever it is, if it's, you know, as long as it's Star Wars, I collect it. Absolutely.
Who? Yeah. Okay, who's your favorite character in Star Wars? Um, hmm. I'd say Han Solo. Excellent choice. Excellent choice. <laughs> Excellent choice. So let's keep going. Let's keep going. What else is in the room? Okay, here's the here's the vintage uh, Star Wars. I and are those the ones it. you collected as a kid? Yep. Yeah, those are ones my mother saved for me. You should give her a hug every time you see her. I swear to God. <laughs> but she she passed away a few years ago. But yeah, yeah she I'm she sorry. knew I loved Star Wars and she saved them for me. That yeah. is, that's fantastic. That's yeah, fantastic. She she even she even saved the Darth Vader cases for the figures. Mm. I had two of them. She saved them both for me. Oh my gosh! And yeah. I think those are those go for a pretty penny, don't they, on eBay still? I think so. Yeah. Yep. And have you played that Monopoly Star Wars game? I got it this past Christmas. We haven't played it yet. <laughs> what are you waiting for? <laughs> <No>. <laughs> Sometimes when I do those kind of games, I always feel stupider because I'm like, I know all about Star Wars. And I'm like, I don't know that question. I don't know that answer. I don't know that. <laughs> so right over here is more of the, uh, the Hot Wheels. Hope I'm aiming that right way. Um, we got the Cantina band right here. Awesome. That, that I was excited to get because those are like those are hard to find. Do they come in a set or were were the individual ones? Yeah, it's a, it's a whole set. They all came right in this, inside this tin container here. So then, Excellent. starting over here, this is the six inch black series. And I, I try to group them all together, you know, for, for each movie or like the, like the, um, the Clone Wars cartoon show. So you and like group them as, as the movies or the, the cartoons or, yeah. or the sagas. Yeah. Excellent. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. And right up here is mostly like the, the Clone War section <laughs> wow yeah. and this one right here this is this isn't actually a figure they sell um i saw on i saw on a youtube station someone made this actually all it is is just a, a jawa uh figure and I had to order the head for it and I painted the whole thing to make it look like a young Anakin. So you're, you're very creative with your stuff. You're always, you're. Yeah, I, uh, yeah, I try to. <laughs> I love it. Yeah. I love it. Taking it to the second or third level of, of creating amazing things that they haven't thought of or, or they haven't done yet. Yeah. Sometimes you got to make your own stuff. Yeah. Which is crazy in Star Wars world because they, you know, if it's a pebble, they'll make a, a collectible on it, I think. <laughs> yep. <laughs> yep. So this, is, this section is pretty much from the new movie. Um, yeah, it's mostly all new. That's and right over, right over here, I tried to set it up at, in the, the Phantom Menace. When uh, Quan Jin and Obi Wan Kenobi were fighting against Darth Maul, absolutely, tried to, like, recreate, tried to recreate as much as I could. And this top shelf up here is the three and three quarters. These I don't collect so much because they're so they're so small, but. <clears throat> but out of all those. The meditation chamber is my favorite one right there. That is nice. Yeah. That is nice. And up top, there. Uh, 
I got those recently. Okay. And I try to I try to set up the Hoth battle up on top here. Sorry if I'm aiming, I'm, I'm aiming it too high. <laughs> no, you're doing just fine. I love it. I'm 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 watching. I'm soaking this all in. <laughs> I love that you're making like little vignettes of what's going on in the movies on the shelves. Those are fantastic. Yeah. I, I like doing that. Yeah. So over here, just random stuff up here that, you know, like I said, family members got for me. So you're very easy for, to shop for Christmas, aren't you? Oh yeah. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> um, so right here is the, uh, the, some of my helmets that I have. Oh, wow. And what's that white thing above him? Right here? Yeah. This is the um, the riot baton that, uh, I don't know if you remember when um, Finn was using it in one of the battles. Oh, nice. Yeah. I don't it's remember, actually, but I'll have to watch it again. It's actually right here. I'm, I'm pointing it the right way. Mm. Nice, yep. nice. I love the helmets. How much are the helmet? Yeah. How much do the helmets cost in in real in in when um, they come out? The cost of the helmets. They, the the black series ones. Like this is a black series. This is a black series. They're usually a hundred dollars when they come out. But I've seen on eBay now the Kylo Run is like three hundred, four hundred dollars now. So are they limited edition items? I don't think they are, no. They're just they're just regular, you know, helmets that they sell for Star Wars. And then some of these, <clears throat> these are like kind of like lower grade helmets that they sell. Um they don't look they're, lower grade to me. <laughs> I love that. The blasters for Django Fett, I made these. Well, I, I I ordered these. They, they were like prop guns for for costumes. Uh, they were all, um, I think they were orange and green. So I took them apart and painted them to make them look as accurate as possible. I like it. Yep. <clears throat> Excuse me, sir. I'm getting over a cold. <clears throat> oh, it's no problem. Summer um, colds so are the worst. <laughs> So here we got the, the Stormtroopers helmets. Th this is a Black Series. Um, that one, I'm not sure what brand it is, but it's not a really expensive one. But like I said, I don't, I don't go for expensive items all the time. I would assume you would have to be very particular of, of the most expensive stuff because there, there is a lot of stuff on Star Wars. Oh, yeah. Yeah, there's a lot of expensive items. <clears throat> What is that C-3PO down there? Oh, right here? Yeah. This is, this is a, a comm commemorative audition uh, that they, they were selling in the stores. My mother-in-law got that for me for Christmas. Usually, all my, oh yeah. <laughs> Usually all my stuff I, I open and display, but that one I just left in the, in the package. It still looks good like that. That it does. Um, what has been the hardest one for you? Is, is there s the hardest collectible you found? Is there, was there something you looked for that took forever to find? Yes. <laughs> this bubble fat helmet right here. I'm not sure why it's so hard to find, but it was really hard to find. Wow. Yeah. So is that your favorite item in, in your collection or do you have a favorite item that you like? I do have a favorite um, that I'll show you towards the end. Okay. <laughs> good, 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 good. Um, so down here I have, you know, a bunch of uh, R2-D2, R2-D2, BB-8. Um, these are 18 inch figures. Um, and my sister actually found me those Lego figures right there. Oh, sorry. I'll turn the camera sideways. Oh, no. Um, it's totally good. Yeah. Okay, she found those at a tag sale. She got those for me. I and love them. 
Now, do those all move? The the R two D two and the BB eight. Do they are they movable? Or are they just uh, um, statues? The R two D two, the head turns and he, he kind of like wobbles, but he doesn't he doesn't walk or anything or, or glide. Um, the BB eight, his eyes light up and he makes sounds also, but that's about it. Those are fun. Yeah. Got Yoda over here, and my my other sister. She found me these cups. It's a it's a Yoda cup and an R two D two cup, and they fit right in perfect. Those are pretty big cups. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> They're about as big as the rest of the stuff sitting there. That's funny. <laughs> yep. Yeah. The R two D two fits perfect right with C three PO right there. I would I would I would say yes too. Yes, that's good. Yep. Okay, so here we got more the six inch black series. Um, so these troopers are from Rogue One. I tried to group them all together, and these are more characters from Rogue One also. Um, I forgot his name, but he's he's in a new video game. A new Star Wars video game that's out. And once again, they will make anything of anything. <laughs> oh, yes. I love yeah. it. I love it. Yep. Yeah, and I made this little stand here for uh, Kylo Ren. Cause in the movie, he had uh, Darth Vader's burnt helmet. And I tried to, like, make something to make it look like it. Yes, that whole scene with... Uh... Ray and in his room and they're doing that telepathic thing and she yeah it's good times good times yeah yeah and up here is more now those look like the originals like a star yeah, wars yeah aka a new hope yep yeah. um so these are black series this one is actually a model and these two also are models that I, I put together. And right here, I kind of made like the little Han Solo scene where he shot Greedo. Yes. Hopefully, hopefully you can see that okay. <laughs> who, who shot first, of course? Han did. Of course he did. <laughs> he does all the time, even in the Han Solo movie. Oh, yeah. Yep, so over here we got more, a little bit more. We got Luke training with a little droid ball. I forgot what those are called, but got that set up there. And this one black series, Darth Vader right there, hopefully it's in the screen. Yep. Um, his helmet is somewhat clear. It's supposed to be like, it's supposed to be when he got shocked by Palpatine. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, and his hand comes off right there, so I made it so his hand's getting cut off right there. <laughs> I love it. Yep. And there's Ray and Luke. Um, <clears throat> one other thing is uh, Kylo Ren's lightsaber here. This was a uh, a 3D print also I got from Etsy. And, you know, I just painted it, weathered it, try to make it look as accurate as possible. I, 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 as I said before, I love that your, your passion is, is you're creating wonderful things too. Run of collectibles, one of a kind. Yeah. Yeah, I like, I like doing that in my spare time. <clears throat> Um, so we got Grievous here. He's a model also that I built. And right over here, I actually made Jabba the Hutt's little, I don't know what it is, like a little bed or whatever it is here. I made this. Um, his little, I, th I think this is like a hookah or something like that. I'm not sure. Yeah. But this one is is the original one from the, the vintage uh, Jabba the Hutt set. I didn't have the set anymore, but I did have this still, so I added that to it. 
I love it. That looks great. Yeah. Yeah, Princess Leia in her bikini. <laughs> Gotta have her. Gotta have that. Oh, yes. And over here is the bounty hunters. We got Han in the uh, carbonite right there. Of course. Yeah. And right up here is Darth Vader coming through the doorway with the stormtroopers. And I think this Darth Vader here is it's it's die cast, and I think it's a Disney item. They sell at their stores. It looks really nice. Nice. Oh, one of them fell over. They're they're always falling over. <laughs> <laughs> the Jawas? <clears throat> Excuse me? You said the Jawas are always falling over? No, some of the figures, they, they just fall oh. over once in a while. Um, we got Palpatine here in his chair with his guards. And there's Kylo. And I don't know why, but I can't remember his name. That's uh Of course you said that now just escaped my mind too. Oh my god. We keep going, you won't we'll get back to them. Um, okay. <laughs> and these are more black series up here. And I got two of the speeders with the scouts. Fantastic. Wow. These are also uh black series. Um they're they're the shadow scouts. And the shadow trooper with the dark bike, the speeder bike, that was hard to get to. That was like a hard, I, I guess they didn't sell many of them. Hmm. And just some other random uh, troopers. <clears throat> wow. And I love your background on the wall background. It's great too. Yeah, my wife got me that for Christmas. It's it's a wallpaper. And we, when we did the basement, put that right on there. Brings the action right into the room. Yeah, it's like you're there. <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah, so some more ships. It's Kylo Ren's ship here. Sorry. I was turning a camera. All, all good. Yeah. So this helmet here is my favorite helmet. And why is it your favorite helmet? Because it's Boba Fett. <laughs> but what would Han say about that? Because isn't Han your favorite character? Hmm. He is, but this is my favorite item. <laughs> just, just, just yanking your your uh, lightsaber. That's all. Oh, that's not. Cool. <laughs> Sorry, folks. That was crazy. <laughs> here's some bubble fets here this is a model um and these are black series right here you got the white bubble fet that's the prototype and this blaster bubble fets blaster here it was also a prop item they sell like costume shops and it was all orange and green so i painted the whole thing made it look real as possible that looks great. Thank you. Um, down here we got the Mandalorian with the baby. Yeah, baby Yoda's right there. That was actually my daughter's, but she decided to let me have it to put down here. Uh, I think you just took it. <laughs> uh, maybe. <laughs> So these are the characters that were in The Mandalorian also. And I love that series. That series is amazing. Yeah, it's good. Yeah. It's very good. And here we got some more helmets. We got Poe Dameron's and Luke Skywalker's helmets. Those are black series. <clears throat> and I tried to put all the pilots here to fit the theme. And is that Luke's... Um... Lifesaver? 
Yes. Yeah. This is uh, also a 3D print um, that I ordered and painted. Try to make it look good. <laughs> Wow. So, right here is the uh, Rancor, and Love here's him. Luke. About to be eaten. Yeah. <laughs> this, uh, the Yoda hut right here is, um, I had that when I was little. That's one of the things my mother uh, saved for me. And when I got it and I started making my big collection, I put some moss on it to make it look nice. And I put some of the small figures on there. I love it. Yep. And this right here is a, a dark saber. Um, I actually made this. I the handle's wood, and the blade is plexiglass, and I did some crackling with the paint on there to make it look as accurate as possible. Did he use one of those in in the Han Solo movies? Is that where that came from? No, that's from. Uh, the Clone War ser series, the cartoon, okay. and it was also in uh, the Mandalorian, the last episode. Nice. Yeah. This right here is just a. Uh, it's a um, tongs. It's a lightsaber tongs that my friend got for me, my best friend Josh. That that's nice of Josh. Yeah, <laughs> he was a he was a big Star Wars fan too, but he grew out of it. And, I stuck with it. <laughs> Ooh. Um, the lightsabers. I could turn them all on for you if you like. Do that and let me know which ones are which. Okay, this one was Luke's, also Anakin's. Um, Darth Vader's. This one was also Luke's. And you got Kylo Ren's. Nice. So everybody loves these when they come down here. They want to they want to turn them on and swing them around and break stuff. <laughs> <laughs> You're like, no way. You can't do that. <laughs> yeah. Uh, this right here, also a 3D print. It's Yoda's lightsaber. I hope I got that in the camera. Yes, you did. Yeah, and this is Obi-Wan Kenobi's, also a 3D print. Uh, this one is Darth Maul's. Uh, that, I think that was like a prop slash toy that I added to the collection. Looks nice there. And right here is Han Solo's blaster. That was also a prop toy that I colored, I painted and weathered. There you go. I hope you don't take that out with you. No, no. <laughs> <laughs> I got his dice with it too. So, yep, that's pretty much everything. I have a couple other things put away right now, but because I don't have room, I got to make some more room. It's amazing. What is the most expensive item in your collection there? Do you know? Um, I think the Kylo Ren helmet. Because like I said, I saw that on eBay. It was like $400. Um, the vintage figures, I'm not sure. I've never really looked those up. So is there something that you're looking for that you don't have in your collection or is something you had as a kid that you I definitely want to get it again? Um. I'm just going to put this down real quick. Well, someday I'm hoping to get maybe like Mark Hamill's autograph or Harrison Ford's to add to the collection, but they don't really come around this area. <laughs> oh, that's true. That's true. And yeah, I probably had to travel to California or something like that. Or New York yeah. or you know, like to uh, – uh, um, Chiller or someplace like that. So yes, of course. Yeah. Of course, I've, I've, I've only been in the room with Mark Hamill. I never got a signature or a photo with him, but. Um, oh, I've just being there. That's true. That's true. Just being there is enough. 
That's true. I, I mean, I do have my signed um, C-3PO from um, Anthony Daniels. I have a friend who knows him. So I yeah. usually, we saw them at Star Wars when they do the Star Wars at the Hollywood Bowl. Anyway, um, yeah, I, I, see, I have some more questions. Sure. Um, just be looking for, I already did that collecting. I think I've answered, ask, ask all of them. In your prize collection, what is the weirdest collectible that you have in your collection? Do you have a weirdo, weird, weird thing that you're like, oof, that's weird? <laughs> um, let me grab it. Okay. I'd say this, the Santa hat with the Yoda ears. Uh, I don't know if that's that weird. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> Those are presents you want, or pre what would what would you do? You wear that at, at Christmas when you're handing out the presents under the tree? <laughs> I did. I did one time. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Now, do you have a lot of uh, Star Wars collecting fans you, that you know that you talk to or uh, online or? No, well, just like the Facebook. Facebook groups, um, you know, we we post what we have and discuss what we have, and you know, other than that, I have a coworker. I mean, he likes Star Wars, but he likes Star Trek too. So, you know, he's not perfect, but the so. I understand. I understand. Yes, <laughs> we're we're always talking Star Wars. Do you watch the movies and the TV series all the time, or or how many times have you seen it too? Oh. oh the movies? Yes. Uh, I can't remember how many times. I just I just watched them over and over. And which one was your is your favorite? Do we? I don't know if I asked that. Um, I'd say A New Hope. Good choice. I just yeah. call it Star Wars, but yeah, you have to say the New <laughs> Hope. There's so many. There's so many ones in this world of Star Wars. I can't. Personally, I can't believe. I don't know about you. That you know, I was seven or eight when I saw Star Wars in the theater and my my nephews now well you know when they were smaller they were watching Star Wars and collecting stuff I was like this is crazy that that's <laughs> the longevity of this movie is is uh and and the the saga is is crazy yeah and as for a collector it must be sometimes daunting knowing how many things are coming out oh yeah um my kids, they say they say they don't like Star Wars, but I think they do a little bit. You know, when we when we bring them to the movies to see the movie, they love it. Yeah. You know, but they they I think they say they don't like it just because they don't want me to know they like it. <laughs> That's probably true. That's probably yeah, true. My wife, my wife also likes Star Wars. Usually, like in the beginning of the movie, when the the scroll is going up. Mm -hmm. She's got to read the whole thing out loud. Oh, good. Yeah. Well, that's good because I can, I, I, I'm like trying to read it as fast. That's a good thing that yeah. you have that. because you can... yeah. <laughs> First off, you know which movie you're in, where you've been, yeah. and where you're going. Um, yeah. That's fantastic. So do you, do, you, do you dress up? Have you ever dressed up as Star Wars for Halloween? No. No. No? You I, haven't done Han Solo and Princess Leia? No, that's the only thing I haven't done. Star Wars. Uh, Maybe this year. <laughs> if we get to go anywhere, I, I don't know how. Oh yeah, it's, it's a crazy, it's a crazy world of craziness. Which is even yeah. better because you know I I get to spend more time with my collection, and um, go on eBay every day to see what's new and what I should not be purchasing. <laughs> I don't right. know about you. Yep, it's crazy. So, what has Star Wars collecting given you? Um, as far as collecting? Um, it brings me back to my childhood. You know, back when things were easy, things were good. <laughs> yeah. Right? So it's like, so whenever I get a little stressed, I can come down here and brings me back. And, and I, you know, I said it before, I love that you're taking items and, and making them more real, I guess you would say, or, or, or something of other than you know the lovely yellow color or orange colors they have to make things now for the crazy <laughs> world. Yeah. Um, what is there something that you're working on now for your collection? No, not right now. I'm just I'm always scanning eBay, 
or if I'm in the stores, I'm, I'll, I'll walk past the, you know, the toy aisle, see if they got anything new. But yeah, I'm not really in a pursuit of anything right now. No. Do you ever go to like, I guess, you know, I, I used to go to a lot of um, places like thrift stores and now, but it's, the stuff is so, you know, now eBay-ish that you, I never find anything anymore in those stores. Yeah. My, my sister and her husband, they love going to tag sales. So whenever she spots something in Star Wars, she calls me. <laughs> she take a picture and she's like, do you need this? Oh, yeah. Even if I have it, yeah, I want that too. <laughs> all right. Especially if the price point is okay. It's like, oh, that's a dollar? Yes. Get all of them. Yeah. Get all of yeah. them. Well, it's been an amazing... Tony to talk to you and look at your collection and everything you do. It's amazing. Thank you for jumping on and showing us and sharing your collection with everybody at uh, Collectors Haven and all the people out there. Where can people find you if they have something they want to send you or maybe sell you or, or just chat with you about your collection? Um, I'm on Facebook. Tony Vasilino. Excellent. Well, I hope the force is with you. Is with you too, <laughs> and um, you you know you keep your baby Yoda close to your chest, and <laughs> <laughs> and your Bubba Bubba Fett helmet next to your bed, so no one takes it at night. No one takes it at night. Nobody's touching it. <laughs> no one touches it. You were fantastic. Thank you for your passion of Star Wars, and thank you. Ah, I wish I could have a room like that to my house. Oh my goodness. Yeah, my wife's very understanding. <laughs> she is. Yeah. She is. See, I've, I found no one to understand me, so well, there you go. <laughs> Thank you so much for uh, sharing your collection with me. Thank you. <laughs>